Bueno, pues ya estamos aquí en otro capítulo más de este Let's Play de The Walking Dead. Estamos en el episodio 4. Y bueno, en el anterior capítulo ya habíamos conseguido la batería. Lo que pasa es que la tiene Molly. No sé dónde está. Y tenemos combustible. Solo faltaría las medicinas, en todo caso. Pero bueno, vamos a seguir con el capítulo. A ver. Con Ben. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Pues, me parece que hay que ir a ayudar a... Vernon y a Crista, creo, por las medicinas. Vamos a ver. porque si no estaba por aquí sí. por aquí sí qué dices joder chaval qué cojones hago yo hombre en serio no sé si ha sido bonita esto Suerte de Neo. Vamos a ver. Qué difícil, tío, controlarlo con el joystick derecho. A ver. Tranquilos, tranquilos. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. ¿Qué pasa? Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Lock, lock. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Una clave. De cuatro dígitos. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. A ver. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. A ver, papeles. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Bueno. Teléfono. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Vale. Archivo médico. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Sí, aquí está. Tiene que ser esto. Bueno, supongo que es esto. How's it coming? Slow, too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Gracias por venir con nosotros. Hey Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Buena gente. A ver, acerca de Molly. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? 
A saber. She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off with the battery? Yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Vale. La pistola. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're gonna force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. Primeros auxilios, nada vacío. Cajones. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Cordafo. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Cámara de vicio. Vale, vamos a ver. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Sepira. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe sí. you should search it. See what he's got on him. No me jodas. Tokire. Serio? Hey, Krista. Yeah. Acerca de Clementine. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. I'm sorry. Esperemos. A ver. ¿Qué tal? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on! You just dug up a rotting dog carcass! I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Are you making any progress with the safe? 
No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Look, Lee. I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Joder, tengo que ir a por el tío ese, tío. Vamos a ver. Si no hay demasiados Por aquí This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Hot. Shit, time to go. Vamos ya. Vale. Volvemos a la enfermería. Vamos a ver la cinta. I found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Vamos a ver. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. A ver, la combinación. A todo por... No. 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 Pues yo no me he enterado de los números. More importantly, we got the combination. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. 
Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Vale. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go Ouch. on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. That you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Pues ni idea. Oh, Krista already took everything we need. Cógrafo. Pues yo creo que nada más. No tape inside. Not working. Pues nada. Vámonos. A ver. 
ver qué es esto. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Small. Thin the well, shit. No sé. Ser su hermana, yo qué sé, tío. Jesus Christ. ¿Qué pasa? Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, ¿Qué? about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Check it as the quit with the egg, Molly. I know you from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford... They always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. What? This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just... Wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? Joder. I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Bro, cagando leches. No me mola eso. Jesus! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Joder, mole, chaval. Mole. ¿Qué dices? ¡Hey! 
It wasn't me! Going, kid. Nice shot. Be at the top. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Joder. Reparte Molly, macho. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. Can no, take... wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? About... Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Joder. <laughs> Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead! You hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a both fucking killed! Kimmy, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Joder. De momento se queda. Vamos. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Vamos, vamos, vamos. What? So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Vamos. Venga. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Joder, joder. Vamos.
here this leads to the roof we might be able to find a way down from there you didn't come into town from the railroad did you yeah why never mind i can see the sewer where we came in from here i think we can do this well what are we waiting for go go come on let's go Okay. Oh, me. Come on, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Bueno. Mm. Uh, no, está bien, está bien. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Está bien, está bien. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Mara. Gracias por tu ayuda. Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. 
So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's no. what you want for her, no, isn't no, no. it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun huh. you. what are you talking about Kenny's working on the boat right now thought you were coming with us God knows you earned it yeah I've been thinking it over it's not for me sounds like it'd be pretty crowded and I never did like the water you sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Joder, pues me caía bien Molly, tío. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. A ver, ¿qué es? ¿Qué dice Clem? Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Puede que no haya tiempo. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Ha cogido Walker y se ha pirado. Ya verás. Clementine. Sí. 
si no hay nadie. Clementine, Clementine. ¿Qué pasa ahora? Oh God. Bueno, dejamos aquí el capítulo de hoy. Y supongo ya estaremos casi terminando, así que el próximo capítulo a lo mejor es un poco cortito, pero bueno, nos vemos en el siguiente. Hasta la próxima.